Hello, everyone. This is Mona Ellis again. I am coming to you, letting you know um, the topic for today is what happens when a driver coming out of the SAP program does not complete the follow up testing plan um, on behalf of the employer. So the driver has been, for an example, the driver has been working for a company and he has been working for that company for about a year and he chose to leave that company and go to a new company. Well, the new company or the prospective employer is going to be asking the former employer for the SAP paperwork, the return to duty drug test, and all of the return to duty, I mean, I'm sorry, all of the follow-up tests that was completed according to um, the SAP um, recommendations for follow-up testing and the testing plan schedule that was provided by the SAP. And so what happens and what can I do when my employer did not complete my follow-up testing plan? Okay, this is what we're gonna be addressing today. It is not as difficult as many people think um, what happens is based on the FMSEA federal um, guidelines, if you, if you're an employee and your employer has not sent you for your follow-up tests or they have not, uh, you have not completed all of your follow-up tests prior to leaving the company and now you're going to a new company, the prospective employer or your new employer will be required to complete your follow-up testing um, schedule, okay? You do not get a copy of your follow-up testing schedule. You do not call the employer and ask them for the schedule. You do not call the SAP and ask them for the schedule. Based on the federal guidelines for DOT, FMSEA, we will not be providing you with the schedule. It is prohibited. And so the only people that can get that schedule is a third party administrator or a consortium, um, the DER, okay, which is the designated employee representative for the company. Um, that's the only people that the SAP is going to give that schedule to. It will never ever be an employee that is uh, violating the DOT federal regulations. And so, um, but what happens is that they will resume the testing schedule when they hire you on board. Many employers will look into the clearinghouse and they will see that step six, which is the follow-up testing plan has not been completed. It's important for you to know that each of your follow-up tests will not be entered into the clearinghouse. What will be entered into the clearinghouse is the employer will complete all those follow-up tests based on the SAPS uh, recommendation for follow-up testing within the dates. I mean, not the dates. They set the date, but we set the timeline. So within the timeline, they're going to complete those um, follow-up tests. They're going to keep them all on file. All right. When you complete your last follow-up test and it's negative, they got three dates, three days to enter that completion date in the clearinghouse. So there will only be one date in the clearinghouse, and that is the verification date saying that you have completed all of your follow-up tests based on what the SAP, um, the Qualified SAP Council has recommended to your designated employer representative. And so when you move around to a new employer, those dates will not be in there. That means that that employer will have to contact your Former employer, they will have to send them, as I stated, your SAP initial evaluation, your follow-up evaluation, the DOT letters for the initial, the DOT letter for the follow-up, um, your follow-up testing plan, okay, and all your return to duty drug tests and all of the follow-up tests that you have completed. Your former employer will have to send all that information to your new employer and your prospective employer. And they will pick up on those dates and begin and resume sending you for your follow-up test based on the qualified SAP testing plan 
recommendations. It's really confusing, but everything has to be followed based on what the qualified SAP has put in that follow-up testing plan. And it will not be entered until you have completed your last follow-up test based on the timeline that the SAP has provided your employer, which is your designated employer representative with. All right. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put it in down there in the comment section. I will respond as quickly as I can. Thank you for tuning in and watching my live video. And I look forward to providing more videos and more information as I get information from this um, clearinghouse um, from the SAP. I really uh, research and read a lot of the regulations and laws. This information is also public information. If you want more information about this, you can visit my website, www.monamentors.us, www.monamentors.us. Look in the left-hand column and you'll see um, uh, FMSCA, CDL Drivers Resources, FMSCA, DOT News and Updates. That information, it's a lot of information listed there that you can read and research and also some brochures and stuff that you can have access to as it relates to the clearinghouse and uh, return to duty um, program, SAP um, guidelines, recommendations, and your follow-up testing plan. Thank you and have a great evening.